Gilbert the Great by Jane Clark and Charles Fuge. Gilbert the Great. From the time Gilbert the Great White Shark was a tiny pup, Raymond the Remore stuck to him like glue. Raymond was always at Gilbert's side. When Gilbert was stuck in the seaweed, Raymond untangled him. When Gilbert got dirty, Raymond cleaned him up. And when Gilbert lost his first row of teeth, Raymond helped him collect them for the tooth fairy. Gilbert and Raymond had lots of fun. They loved to play finball, tide and seek, and sardines. They shared everything. Then one day, Gilbert told Raymond told Gilbert that his family had to move across the ocean. I don't want to go, but Mom says I have to, cried Raymond. As Raymond and his family swam away, Gilbert's mother hugged him tight and tried to comfort him. Raymond's my best friend, said Gilbert. Why did he have to go away? It's not fair. I know, said Mom, but his family couldn't just leave him behind. She kissed Gilbert on the snout. Go play tide and seek with the pilot fish. It will keep your mind off of Raymond. But Gilbert couldn't stop thinking about his friend. I want to move with Raymond, Gilbert said. He's moved too far away, said Mom. We have to stay here. Let's go watch the basketball game. The thrashing threshers play the title tigers. Who do you want to win? Gilbert looked around. There were remorse everywhere, but none of them was Raymond. I don't care, he said, and he swam off before either side scored a basket. It's my fault Raymond moved, Gilbert snapped as he passed an ill. Last week I called him a sucker. You didn't make Raymond leave, Mom smiled. Everyone fights sometimes. The clownfish did their best to try to cheer up Gilbert, but nothing could make him smile. The next day at school, everybody was very kind to Gilbert. They even gave him an extra long turn on the seesaw. Cheer up, said Marvin the Mallet. There are plenty of fish in the sea. There isn't another Raymond, said Gilbert. Gilbert was sulking when Mom came to collect him from school. It's not the same without Raymond, Gilbert pouted. That night, Gilbert cried and cried and cried, and his warm tears mingled with the cold ocean water. The next morning, Mom took Gilbert gently by the fin and towed him into the shallow water. Rocked by the gentle waves, they gazed out at the seashore and the bright blue sky. I hope Raymond's home is as nice as this, said Gilbert. I'm sure it is, said Mom. I'm hungry, Gilbert said suddenly. We'll go to the wreck, said Mom. Gilbert's eyes lit up. They didn't usually go to the wreck. Mom didn't like him eating junk food. Scrutch, munch, crunch. As Gilbert was biting into a pile of tin cans and bits of old boat, he spotted a small remor crying in the shadows. Gilbert stopped crunching and swam towards her. What's the matter? Gilbert asked. My mom and I had moved and I had to leave my shark behind, she sobbed. Now I don't have any friends. My remora had to move too, said Gilbert sadly. 
I'm so lonely. Gilbert and the Remora looked at each other and smiled wobbly smiles. I'm Gilbert, said Gilbert. I'm Rita, replied the Remora. Just then, a ray of sunlight filtered through the deep blue ocean. Gilbert's teeth flashed as he grinned a huge smile. Do you want to play finball with me, Rita? He asked. Sunlight danced in Rita's eyes. I'd love to, she said, and the two new friends swam off to find a ball to play with. The end.